We want to address for you, Dallas police are still trying to identify the man who walked into a Koreatown salon and started shooting yesterday. These images are new today. Three women were injured yesterday afternoon when this went down. The images you see here uh, of the suspect captured by a nearby surveillance camera. They're not great pictures, but that's all we have to go on at the moment. Andrea Lucia, uh, Lucia live outside the salon today with where we stand in the investigation as of right now. Andrea. Yeah, Doug, a friend of the salon owner told me there were seven uh, people inside when a man walked in. Witnesses say uh, he came back out, grabbed a gun from his car, and returned shooting. I mean, it definitely it feels a little nerve-wracking coming to work, you know. Jarelli Martinez works two doors down from the salon. The lights of an ambulance caught her attention yesterday, and she walked out to find a victim covered in blood. She had blood on her face and her feet. Yeah, I, yeah, I didn't. I honestly, I just saw it, and I kind of went back inside because it was, it was scary. Dallas police released pictures that show the shooter carrying a long gun and taking off in this maroon minivan. Everybody's scared and uh, fear, and got a fear because what happened there yesterday. Brian Ahn with the Korean Society of Dallas says with no clear motive, people are worried. We hope not related to the uh, Asian hate crime. The salon is located in Koreatown, where the businesses are predominantly run by and for the local Asian American community. No, it was up here. Recently, Jarelli told us a bullet from a drive-by shooting hit her workplace window. This time, the violence left three women injured. You know, hair salon, small hair salon, you know, one or two employees working, you know, hair could make a small money for a living. But why he got a gun in over there, shoot it. So we don't know. It's like a people, many small business around here. Oh my God, it, it, it happens for me. A Dallas police chief, Eddie Garcia, was asked about these concerns, and he said that uh, so far the investigation has not found any evidence that this is a hate crime. The three victims who were shot um, are expected to survive. The uh, friend of the owner said, though, that they are all traumatized, even those who were not hit themselves. They all, have all been affected by what they witnessed, and, of course, they are now all, for the moment, out of work. Reporting live here in Dallas, Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News.